What is happening, guys? How we doing? How we doing? It's fantastic, man. I got both of the cars clean. And of course, it rained today. It stopped raining, though. It's just a little bit wet, so the car shouldn't get too dirty. Unless it starts raining again. Ooh, we gotta change those lights. That's uh, tragic, man. That's just uh, ugh, disgusting. Very nice, very nice. Excuse my fuel pump. Because race car slash drift car. But I do got push to start though without having to use the clutch. You like that, huh? Unfortunately, my uh, gas gauge doesn't read properly, so I think I need to take out a floater or whatever, readjust it. I'll have 12 gallons in the tank and the gas light comes on. <laughs> so it's just all bad. is uh, take the cluster apart and pretty much just block all the lights off that I don't want on and voila, <laughs> pretty simple. <laughs> Only thing I need is check engine light. That's all I care about. <laughs> so I clean the car up, cleaned all the interior out. It's actually pretty clean. Um, I'm gonna take these little panels off and get them repainted along with this and that because it just looks hideous. We'll go with this car. I want the interior to just be really, really clean on the inside. The outside, I want it to be clean too, but you know, shit happens. Whatever happens, happens. You know, I'll try to take care of it the best I can but um, mainly I just want the interior to be like really clean. I have some uh, bucket seats coming, harness bar, and uh, you know, all that good stuff. So I'm trying to get this thing ready to go have some fun. Uh, most importantly, I got coils, a wheel, a welded diff, and I'm gonna have a seat. So those are like four basic mods you pretty much need in order to actually really slide properly. <laughs> so right now I'm headed to my boy Vic. We are gonna get this thing aligned because it needs it, it needs it desperately. I don't know if you guys can see my wheel, but uh, <laughs> well, my wheel over here throwing up west side. The homie I bought it from hit a speed bump at like 2030, so he knocked that shit all the way off. So um, get this thing aligned, and um, yeah, man, it should be good to go. Best tire shop, Montana. All right, guys, so I uh, readjusted the rear so it's not so slammed. Matches up with the front pretty nice, it looks clean. I got my guy coming to take that din out uh, in a couple days, even though I'm gonna put another one there. <laughs> I don't know guys, I can't help it. I just like to have a clean car. Uh, I'm gonna have my boy redo my headlights. Uh, I was gonna buy the Depot ones that I normally get, but man, they tax them for him now. They want like $500. Big taxing. This, this looks like a decent functional ride height on 18, so probably keep it like this. Don't you guys hate when this happens? When you get a rock under there? All bad. <laughs> Bunch of people DM me like, bro, don't drift this, it's too clean. Like, bro, at one point every drift car was clean, like. <laughs> even if you buy a beater, I mean, at one point the shit was nice. Um, so most likely for the rear, I'm not gonna put like a wing. I think we're just gonna get like the duck build set up. Uh, KBD sells one that looks pretty decent and they're like down the street from me. So uh, I'm gonna put that on there. Since I am gonna be running the bash bar in the rear, I might end up cutting the bumper a little bit um, when I put the rear bash bar on. Just so that way um, it'll last me longer. Cause if this catches on anything, gone. So that'll help uh, keep the bumper on there. And uh, yeah, man, like I said, this is, this is gonna be a full blown drift car one day, guys. So I'm not really worried about keeping it looking street-ish. Uh, I'm not really gonna be driving it like that on the normal, cause I don't need to. But um, yeah, one, one day this is gonna be full blown drift car. So uh, we're just starting out small, you know? Uh, since I don't have true style coilovers, um, there's not really much we could do about the camber unless I just really just raise it like all the way and try to get all the camber out naturally. But um, yeah, even if I get arms, I'm gonna have to actually change the coils to get it like zero or like negative one. Yeah, he actually had to give it a little camber just so that way the toe's correct. So we had 3.7, which is all bad for drifting. But whatever, it is what it is. Well, alignment's all good, but now it's raining. Some bullshit, man. I, it never fails, bro. I, I cannot wash my car for like two weeks, 
The moment I wash it, next day it rains. I don't know where. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? Several days later. Right now, I just pulled up to my boy's society. Yes, sir, skis. Damn. Henry's drift car. My shit's gonna be pretty much like this, eventually. <laughs> Full sin drift car. Sick ass fool. So, um, I am gonna be running the same basher bar that he has in the rear, and the same one in the front. They have it for me over here. I'm gonna be picking that up later to uh, take to get coated. And uh, I'm gonna slap that on the car. All right. First thing for the Z right here. Sheesh. Young NRG hooked it up with the buckets. Damn, these are fresh. Of the drift build. Damn, I'll probably pull up on the forklift. <laughs> for real. Hey, look, these are hella nice. Nah, not bad. This is the first time I see these. The first time. I actually feel really good. Unless you guys see the back here. You know, JDM is fuck. Nah, I vibe with these, man. These are actually really cool. Shout out to NRG for hooking it up. These are gonna be going in the Z. Like I said, we needed some buckets. Uh, no point to cash out crazy on some seats. Like, just going to the track with this thing, so. I'm gonna get the bash bars coated. Those are gonna be going on. Like I said, uh, most likely I'm gonna be chopping the rear of the bumper a little bit. So that way if I do go off track, um, it doesn't catch the bumper and I just rip that shit off. Cause then once you start ripping bumpers off, you know, everything just starts getting fucked up. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna be running the bash bar in the back, bash bar in the front. Probably just rock it, no bumper, you know. I got the I got the young oil cooler and the HR with the cold air intake, so it looks it look kind of cool. It look a little bit boosted, but it's not. Yeah, man, we got a lot of stuff coming. All right, my guy, what do we have here? All right, we got here the front bash bar, rear bash bar. We got the harness bar and the seat bracket kit, all from the drift build. Um, what color are you gonna be doing it? Candy red. You already know the vibe. I already knew it. I was yeah. like, bro, I have a fast candy red. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, sick ass fool. It's already popped with the candy. So yeah, uh, I just took a few things now. I'm gonna come back when I get my M back and uh, grab the bash bars, and then drop those off to get coated. I also have to pick up my wheels from him. So when I pick up my wheels, I'm basically gonna give him all the other stuff to get coated. Inkies are going back on here. Definitely not drifting those TEs. They are too nice. Not the TE 37. But uh, yeah, a lot of stuff coming for this, guys. Uh, we have SPL arms coming. Uh, I'm going true style coils because I really need to get that camber out. And uh, we're gonna run like SPL arms and get that back out to like negative one around zero. So the tires will last me a lot longer and the car will be a lot easier to drive sideways. So uh, yeah, gonna be doing arms in the front, get the front about like negative three for now. And uh, we'll do an angle kit later. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Some people are like, oh, just, just go angle kit. Don't even try to drift on stock angle. Like, bro, you could drift on stock angle. Like, car's still driftable. Not trying to go extremely crazy, like off the bat. I'm just trying to get everything that I need. I think they're about to start this thing up today or sometime this week. It's crazy. It's pretty sick. That's their team, boys. So it's clean. Damn, damn, Oscar. Sheesh. It's always nice when you have nice shit under the car, too. I'll be back there soon to pick up the bash bars. That way I could drop them off and pick up my wheels. And uh, yeah, the next week or two, we're gonna be like slowly working on this thing. Pretty much almost everything that I wanted for it to start off will be like uh, pretty much done, so excited for that.